Finding a literary agent can sometimes feel as impossible as trying to find a unicorn in the wild. But the truth of the matter is, if you are hoping to be traditionally published by one of the major publishing houses, then finding a literary agent is an absolute must. It ultimately can be a long process full of rejection. But I want to keep your hopes up because it is possible to find a literary agent. It just takes a lot of perseverance, dedication, and patience. To give you a little bit of background as to where I'm coming from with this video, I worked at a leading literary agency based in New York City that is behind many New York Times best-selling books sold to the big five publishers in the US. Of course, now it's considered the big four because Penguin Random House acquired Simon & Schuster recently. So that is where I'm coming from with the tips I'm going to share with you today. I've seen firsthand how agents assess query letters and assess conversations with authors as well as assess the manuscripts themselves so I know what they look for before they decide to actually sign that author and add them to their list of clients. So I'm going to share all those tips with you today. Now depending on where you are in the process you might find it helpful to check out my other video on the reasons why agents have rejected your book so if you've sent out a batch of queries and you got some of those you know dreaded form rejections or you've gotten some personalized rejections which we always love go ahead and check out that video and see if you might be able to troubleshoot some tips that i offer there but today's video is all about what do literary agents look for in a author that they are considering signing I'm going to walk through the top five things that I personally have seen that agents really look for in every writer that they bring on to their team. Number one is probably an expected one, it's talent. Ultimately, literary agents are basically recruiters or talent acquisitions professionals. They are out there looking for the best and the brightest writers that are you know, unrepresented at this point. And they're looking to give them a voice and they're looking to get their words out there in the world. So that doesn't mean that to have talent, you have to have these really impressive creative writing credentials or really impressive short story or short fiction awards or even any prior publications in literary journals or in traditional magazines. You don't need any of that for a literary agent to consider that you have talent. Really, what they're going to look at are your sample pages that you attach to the query letter. And they're going to assess that more than they assess any types of impressive credentials that you throw into the query letter. That said, if you do have an MFA, or you did win a short story award, or you do have some prior publications from your journalism career, potentially, those are all valuable things to mention in your query letter. I just want to let you know that if you don't have those things, that isn't game over. Because again, they're always interested in finding writers, even if they have no type of professional writing experience up until this point. The second thing that agents are really looking for in a writer that they're considering bringing on is a long-term partnership. So agents really don't sign you and make an offer of representation intending only to sell one book of yours and then call the whole thing quits. They really intend to work with you throughout your entire writing career. And the agents I worked with had been working with their authors for several years or even like a decade in some cases. So they really are looking for that long-term partnership. I like to say that the agent and author relationship really is similar to like at-will employment. It is understood that when you sign that offer of representation that you are going to be working together for the foreseeable future, but either of you could end that arrangement at any given time. But again, that intention is to stay together for the foreseeable future. This means that the agent is going to be really interested in what future ideas you have for book projects. So if they are intrigued by the project that you're pitching them in their query letter, a follow-up conversation that you will likely have is about what else you have in store. They want to see where your career is going and where you see yourself as a writer headed to ensure that the two of you really are a good match in the long haul. There are cases where maybe the book that the author submitted to the agent is in a genre that they really don't intend to work in long term. And if that's the case, maybe that agent really isn't the right fit for you because they really work in the genre that you originally pitched them. And 
and they're not really gonna be able to help you out whenever you pivot your writing career into this different direction. So you really need to have those conversations from the very beginning to ensure that you are a good match for the long term. Because the agent and author relationship is long term and because it is a partnership, it often really isn't overly formal. So that's something else to consider. You are going to be working very closely with your agent throughout your entire publishing journey and that means that you really can be vulnerable with them. They are looking for that open type of honesty from you so you can just really be frank and have those tough conversations or share your concerns and questions with them from the very beginning. Again, they are really there to hold your hand throughout the entire publishing process that is their job, that is what they want to do, that is what they are paid to do. So you really can expect that level of friendliness and comfort between you and your agent. The third thing that an agent will look for when assessing if you are the right fit for them is the market fit of your book project. So when an agent is reviewing a query letter, the ultimate question that they are asking themselves is, can I sell this to an editor at a publishing house? I know writers don't often like to think in terms of the saleability or in terms of, you know, this book making any type of profit for a publishing house because you're doing it because this is a story that you need to tell and you feel compelled to tell and that you love deeply. So sometimes that businessy type of angle can get lost and that's totally fine. You're the creative. It should be that way. However, the agent is coming in with that business mindset. This is their job at the end of the day. Their job is to sell books to publishing houses. So whenever they are assessing that query, saleability is going to be going through their mind and it is going to be circling in the back of their head. If they absolutely love your book, chances are they are going to find a way to make it saleable and sell it to a publishing house. However, if they really don't see that angle in which they can make a sale, then that's going to be harder for them to make an offer of representation to you. This all means that as they're reading through the query letter and your sample pages, they're automatically going to be considering how this project fits into the current publishing and book industry landscape. Typically, an agent will respond to a project that fits within a well-defined genre. So say you're pitching it as a historical mystery or a romance, that immediately gives them something with which to compare your book to and it gives them an idea of how you see your book fitting into the current marketplace. That said, they are looking also for a book project that offers some kind of twist on the genre or offers some kind of twist on what's already out there in the market. They don't just want to see a tried and true novel that's like all the others on the shelves because how are they going to sell that to a publisher if the market is already saturated with it. They need something extra. They need something different about your book that will make a publisher say, oh, that's different. I've never heard of that before. I want to buy that. Ultimately though, I really encourage you to not get too stressed over market fit because ultimately the agent is going to be the professional. They have more knowledge of the publishing landscape and they can really add that lens of how your project fits into the publishing marketplace. I often see writers getting really hung up on this on what genre their project is, or you know how it's gonna sell related to other similar titles. That can honestly just be really debilitating for you creatively. So really let them be the assessors of the market fit. I just bring it up because it is very important for you as the author to be aware of market fit, but again, don't stress too much over it. The next thing that an agent is definitely going to look for in a writer is enthusiasm. So they want you to feel energized about collaborating with them and they want you to feel excited to pursue the traditional publishing process with them. One trick that I have and I tell every writer that I work with on query letters is to personalize your query letter to every individual agent. So I recommend making this the very first line of your query letter. You address it to the agent and then you immediately explain why you're reaching out to them and why you're excited to work with them. This will immediately establish a few things. One, it will show the agent that you did your homework, you did your research, you know who they are, and you know why your project is a good match for them. 
But secondly, it shows that enthusiasm. It shows that eagerness and that willingness to put in the work, and it shows that you truly are excited about the potential of a collaboration. If you are working on your query letter now, check out my video on the top five elements of a successful query letter, where I do talk about personalization and a bunch of other tips that will help you ensure your letter stands out. So again, ultimately your agent is trying to sell your book to the publishing house, so they really need to be able to have the confidence to say that you're excited and that you're willing to put in whatever work is required of you to close the deal, because the publisher also will need to see that enthusiasm from you. So they really just need that openness, that collaborative energy, and that overall positive attitude in order to feel comfortable signing you on as a client and pitching you and your book to publishing houses. The last thing that agents really look for in writers is a big one, trust. You have to be willing to trust that your agent has your best interests at heart and loves your project as if it were their own, because they do. Agents get dozens, if not hundreds of submissions every single day. And if they're taking an interest in your project, it's because they truly see the potential and they're truly interested in working with you and helping you bring your vision and your story to life out in the world. They are there to hold your hand throughout the process. They are there to be your advisor. In some cases, they're there to be your shoulder to cry on. You need to understand that no agent is trying to swindle you in any way, or at least no reputable agent that has a track record of doing deals at major publishing houses. One anecdote I'll tell you is when I was working at the agency and going through the submissions inbox, which was one of my main duties there, I read through a query where the writer was sending their sample pages, but then also threatening to sue the agent because they had the sample page document and the writer thought that sending over the sample pages meant that the agent was going to steal those sample pages and then go publish like the 10 page excerpt of the novel under their own name. Don't assume that the agent is going to steal your work or try to steal your copyright because the agent really has your best interests at heart. Trust also comes into play when you're making some tough decisions with your agent. And publishing is full of a bunch of tough decisions. Firstly, you are going to go through likely a few rounds of revision between you and your agent before the agent feels comfortable submitting the book to the chosen editors at the publishing houses that they've selected that would be receptive to your book. You really need to take their revisions seriously. Of course, you can have a dialogue about them. Um, when I'm editing, for instance, I always encourage my writers to reach out to me with any questions or concerns and have that back and forth because that's really part of the editing process. The editor is looking at it from a certain lens and you really are the creative, bringing the true life to the story. So that collaboration is essential, but at the same time, you need to take their recommendations seriously because again, they are the professionals, they know the market, they know the publishing landscape, and ultimately they know the editors that they are pitching the book to, they know what they like to see, and they are really trying to set you up for success. Again, they're not trying to you know, destroy your vision, they're not trying to steal your work, they are trying to set you up for the most success possible because your success is their success. So those are the top five things that agents are looking for in writers. I really hope it helped give you a perspective of how they determine who they're going to ultimately work with and why. If you have any questions at all about the querying process or how to go about finding a literary agent, leave them in the comments below and I will read through and offer you as much advice as I can. I'd love to hear more about where you're at on your publishing journey, so don't hesitate to get in touch and I would love to connect. If you found this video helpful, it would mean a lot to me if you hit that like button below and if you checked out the other videos on my channel. I offer a lot of publishing advice like today's video as well as writing tips for authors who are working on a full-length book project. If you find this type of content helpful, hit that subscribe button and you will be notified every time I post. Thanks so much for watching and happy writing!